Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Sparta campaign in a Rome Total Realism Imperium Serectum. Now, last time we did manage to get a peace with the Epirates, who we found out have plenty of territory still going on down here. Salona's so a large city as well. Jeez. Some big settlements they still have available. But the Antigonids finally decided that it was time to betray us and take us out. So finally we are at war with them. So first things first, we need to do this battle over here. The battle of the defense of Apollonia, as we can see. They have some Chalcospides. What are they like? Pretty good, pretty good. But the rest of their troops are not amazing. They have some Theroporoi, so they're decent as well. But it's predominantly skirmishes and cavalry. They don't have a lot of infantry. So, whereas we have a lot more infantry. And a lot less cavalry. And honestly, I am tempted to get some more Illyrian swords. I'm, I'm just, let's just get these guys. If they get too damaged, they can either man a settlement. Or, you know, just get disbanded. Let's have a look. Pionian Cavalry. Heavy Cavalry. Excellent morale. Powerful charge. They look pretty decently. Mercenary Greek Cavalry. Ooh. And Lonchoforoi. They have a lot of cavalry options, the uh, Antigonids, it seems like. But let us get into the battle. And we shall hopefully destroy this first Antigonid army. And cripple them. I don't think they have that many settlements. I think four or five left. So let us cripple them. I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, boys. The ferryman will be busy today. He will take many souls to the afterlife. Just make sure that yours is not <clears throat> one of them. Yes, let us go, boys. Led by Python. <laughs> Our favorite coding language, boys. <laughs> Big Python. Illyrian swordsmen. Get them all together. We want a quite a thick line. Oh, what? Cretan archers, get out of the way! Oh no! I nearly pressed Control Z then. Oh, why is there Cretan archers in here? Right, there we are. Oh, the skirmishers. We'll get you behind. Get you behind the phalangites. Kind of destroy some of their phalanx. You're just a standard general. Cretan archers and healer archers. We need you. And we really don't have much cavalry. We've got the Celtic cavalry mercenaries and the Tarantine cavalry. And that's it. I'm likely thinking they're likely going to sit on this hill over here. Uh, so phalangists. Let's get you off phalanx mode. And you two are going to be brutal on that flank. Hopefully. Yep, there they are, sitting on the hill. We got a lot of phalangites, look. Chalcospides, phalangites, chalcospides, phalangites. Oh, they're coming after us as well. Interesting. I think we can probably set up about here. Who are you? Oh, we don't, we don't really non need you. You can uh, chase down enemies, though. So let's get you over here. Who are you? Oh, you're hiding. Do not hide from us, my friend. Let's get up a bit then. Look at all that cavalry they have. And they're looking likely they're going to attack this side that doesn't have spearmen. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'll get the Spartan general over here then. He can deal with the cavalry. Come on, Python. What a name. What a boy. What a name. So the Helots and you guys, ideally want you to target this unit because it's the best unit. We're already getting shot. Greek archers. Why are you running, boys? You do not need to run. Uh, where's my skirmishers? Yep, you're good. You don't even have an op option to skirmish. Why are you running forward? Look how far away you are. Got a feeling that this is going to be a salty episode, guys, so get prepared. Let 
They're doing no damage. They're not even hitting. What are they doing, bro? You are imbeciles. Archers, you are imbeciles, okay? Alright, let's get up. Let's just run through these guys. They should run to run away. Oh my god, look at the range they have. Skiratai taking some damage there. Ready to halt. If that pissy loy wants to stay there, I'm happy. It's running away. What is that? Theroporite. You guys get around. Actually, you guys get around. Let's go over there. Phalangites, get in there. Get in Phalanx. Skiritai, you get in the side there. You guys can get around. Get over there, my friends. You guys need to get in the back of these Phalangites. Need the spearmen. I need you guys to come and fire your jabbies. Oh, come on, boys. How are you routing already? Bro. Let's get up. Where's these boys? Need these boys to shoot those uh, phalangites. Yes, he just ran over my hoplites and died. What a foolish man. Yeah, now get into the back of these cavalry. I've got us in a bit of a box here. It's not ideal. Okay, a lot of our troops are routing as well as theirs. Oh my god, boys! What are you doing? Bionian cavalry. Kill those Uzonoi. Right. We need our cavalry in here ASAP. Tarantine cavalry. Shoot the Podromoi. God, this is chaos. As usual. Oh, boys, boys, back, back. You guys get in the back of there. No, get here. Right, you two, phalangites, fight them. You guys, fire your jabbies there, actually. Let's go. How are we doing over here? We're still boxed in quite significantly. Where's my Tarantine cavalry? You're doing... You're just trash, bro. Tarantine Cavalry, trash. That's what I think. Uh, right. I think we need you here. And I need you to fire in the side of these boys. Oh, come on, boys. They're all running. Fools. That's what I can say. Right, in here now, boys. You guys here. Look at this mess. This huge mess. Fire into them. Fire at them. Ah, oh, is this the four warrior coming down as well? What a nightmare. Hellish scenario. This is our weaker army. We've got to remember that. Let's come back. Boys! Why are you here? Get in line! Those phalangites are just savaging us right now. Oh, the Pisiloi have died. You guys get in there. Cavalry out. Kill those Greek archers. Okay, the Skiritai are doing a decent job. That is a big blob that we can target. Fire at them! Fire! You cannot be this bad. Those Greek archers are fast. Okay, big route going on over here now. Kill these guys. How many have we killed? Whew, this is close. Closer than I would hope. Fire. Fire your javis, boys. Oh my god. How dumb can you get? I said fire your javis, not run in. Oh my god. These guys, man. Right, General, out. We don't want you to die. Get out, General. Nice. Oh, who are we fighting over there? Cretans. Let's come back. Where's the Tarantine Cavalry? They're gone. 
fight the Thropperite. Take a decent charge. Right, Phalangis, we need you here. You boys, get in the back of those Phalangites. You go, you go after them. Oh, decent. All right, cavalry out. Apart from you, you can stay in. Oh, cavalry's gone. Let's get the general out of there. Don't want him dealing with that Thropperite. Okay, we have completely surrounded these Phalangites, but that's their strongest unit. Guys, go! Go! <laughs> what fools? Stand here, bro. Alright, this guy is completely surrounded now. Yeah, we've completely surrounded them. Nice. Shoot there, boys. Shoot there. Oh, what a hellish scenario. You guys get in there. Oh, come on, boys. Oh, they're fighting to the death. Get out, get out, get out. All of you guys who can fire, stand back here. Yeah, now they're routing. Nice. Where are you guys? Oh, a lot of cavalry come back. Oh. Fire at them. Kill these Chalka Speeders. Why would you fire at those guys? I'm not going to lie. That is dumb as hell. You guys getting phalanx now? Uh, well, we will have destroyed their army, but we will have destroyed our own army in the process, which is kind of sad. Nice, that's better. There they are, the Chalka Speeders are dead now. Yeah, kill those Podromoi. They're withdrawing. How many... 20%. We just need a few more to die. So what is going on up here? More Chalka Speeders. More Thoroperoi. Let's uh, get here then. General. I don't want... What? Who is he fighting? One single unit of Thoroperoi. Like, one single guy. Oh my god. I told you it's going to be a salty episode. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous, bro. Kill them. Shoot. Kill that Thoroperoi. Oh, well, Python. I mean, he was only a general, so it doesn't matter. You can now charge in because we don't care. Kill them all. Kill them. Oh my god, kill them! You munched them up, good. Go on, boys. Carry on. How many did we kill then? I mean, it says 1%, but there's a lot routed, so it might not actually have destroyed that whole army, but we definitely have destroyed our own. <laughs> good lord. Oh, what a battle, eh? Oh, they actually made more casualties than us. That is embarrassing. That is not good. Look at these guys. 26 casualties. Oh, 16. These ones, 192 though. Well done. 276 for the Celtic Cavalry Mercenaries. 111 Mercenary Hoplites. Well, safe to say this army is fooked. <laughs> well, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys, and luckily we got a man of the hour. He's good-looking, superior commander, and a true Greek. So, two generals hit points, which is great. So, we just replaced Python with another. There he is. Doesn't look quite as cool as Python, does he? And he doesn't have as cool a name, Nikandros. But oh well, right, this army is actually absolutely fooked. So... <laughs> Let's get our ships to here. 
Let's get our guys over here. Let's get a Cryptia in there as well to kind of uh, improve. So, Th Ambrakia or was it Thermon that we're making into a recruitment hub? I think both would be ideal. They're uh, close to Rome as well, which is brilliant. Slightly worried that we're going to get killed by like four or five of these stacks. But at least we got rid of the Scourge Apollonia, as we shall call them. Um, and then we'll use you guys. Ooh, well. What we should do is merge all the mercenary troops. So that we can get bigger units. Merge you. Problem is a lot of them are not mercenaries. But that's enough space now. So get you in. Luckily for us, killing those experienced troops is a real detriment uh, to those guys. Because they can't get that experience very quickly straight away again. So, uh, we might have to just use these guys to reinforce this army. So, we'll go back to Sparta with these guys. We'll get them on the boats. We'll get them on the boats. We'll go back to Sparta, retrain everyone, and reform this army into a proper army. As it should be. And we'll bring these guys... Potentially, we'll bring these guys back to join that army rather than this one. This one's looking relatively healthy. The Spartan Cavalry, of course, um, are not that good. Mercenary Greek Cavalry, which are great. Uh, Rhodian Slingers. We could get some Slingers. 160 range for the Slingers. That's better than my Helot Archers, bro. Missile Attack of 8 versus 14, though. <laughs> I mean, they have more experience, but these guys only have 2. Yeah, the Missile Attack is a lot less. Are they Armor Piercing? Armor piercing, yes, they are. Hmm. I mean, it can't harm to have another unit, right? And we have enough money. We, we we don't need to worry about money. I need to keep reminding myself about this. Don't worry about the money. Zach, do not worry about the money. Well, that's okay. I won't then. Um, do we have healer archers in this army? Got one. We got two Cretians. Merge them. So while we're here, let's retrain three of those to replace the Cretians in that army. Um, right. Let us end the turn. So the battle, we won the battle. We destroyed their army, but at the same time, ah, uh, here we go. Another battle straight away. Pisiloi, Greek hoplites, and Euzonoi, but that's not the real. What are you doing, bro? You really want to do this? Agrarian infantry. That's only light infantry. Botain phalangites. Oh, they're really good. Same as the Chalka Speeders. They're both very good units. You can see, you can tell by the amount of um, how much they cost to maintain. Five hundred and fourteen for these boys. So, ideally, we're going to use our Phalangites. And that Agrarian Infantry, I'm assuming... Where is it? Uses Missile Weapon before charging. Yep. So, we need to get into them as quick as we can. We do have Archer Supremacy and Cavalry Supremacy. So, that's going to be good. They only have 300... No, 863 plus 326. They've got 1,100 troops. We, oh, we, should, we should smash these guys. I'm not, I'm not worried about this battle. Um, the big army will be coming in from the left. So let us remember that. And I will see you on the battlefield, guys. Here we are. And at the last, there is something hmm. appealing. Something appalling. Something for everyone in what I must now say. We will win. Many of us may die. <coughs> Well, that was a bit of a limp dick speech, wasn't it? Jesus. Many of us will die, but all of us will be brave. Oh, thanks, General. Thanks. <laughs> Many of us will die. What are the man just saying that? No. I, I don't know. I just don't think that's a great thing to say to your troops before battle, but I could be wrong. So, we have an absolute bonus, bonus bucket worth of uh, troops. 
Cavalry going to be the right hand side. We will hug this left hand side of the map. We'll not hug it like fully to to be cheap, but we will hug it. And we're going to do what they just did to us. We're going to stand on the battle on the side of the mountain. And watch them try and come up, the fools. Uh, well, cavalry this side. We'll send these boys this way. I mean, you, I honestly don't want you. This Tarantine can go and deal with them. Uh, so we'll send you two over this way. We've got a Cryptia on that side. We've got two more on this side. Slingers of Rhodes. Uh, well, you guys can go to the back. Which cavalry is over here? Well, you guys go there. There we are. Nicely organized. Fantastic. Is there anyone else down here? Of course there is. <laughs> These boys. Right. That's where their army's coming in from. Uh, I, mean, I don't want to get flanked. Ideally, would be decent. So let's get over there. You can't actually go there. This is this is proper hugging. I. It's a bit cheap. <laughs> it's a bit cheap. It's a bit too cheap for me, actually. Let's get a bit wider. It can still flank, kind of. <laughs> right, archers and stuff. Get there straight away because you might be able to fire pretty quickly. So they're going to come, they look like they're coming reasonably quickly. And who down here is not a missile troop? Let's go after those Greek hoplites. Got you boys. I mean, you're too strong to be just wasted on a flank really though. That's the problem. That a flank that can't really be flanked. Oh, I love that having this Greek cavalry. What are you doing? Why have you stopped? You idiots! Run. Run. Get there for God's sake! Whatever you do, get there. Now they will have to march against our phalanxes, which is great. You guys are still in phal phalanx. What's this? Well, we don't want to deal with the pissy loy. Keep firing at the Greek hoplites, my friends. Ah, they're going to fire their javis. That's the frustrating thing here. So I wonder whether we can kind of stop that. I do want them to march into our phalanxes, though. So I'm not too bothered if they do fire their javis. Okay, they fired it into the crypt here. That's brilliant for us. <laughs> they are the easiest units to train out of everyone. Counter charge. Get there. You guys move. You guys move. You guys move. You guys round. I'm not too bothered by this army down here. I think we can mop that up reasonably quickly. Yes, phalanx versus phalanx. Well, phalanx versus agrarian infantry first. So we should do a very good job of that. Can we sneak past there? Yeah, ideal. Let's go this way. What are you? Take the brunt and let's get the Greek cavalry in the side. There we are. Go, Greek cavalry, go. Because we're Greek cavalry is pretty much the same. Let's go. Right, archers and that. I want you guys to kind of face these units down here. I don't want you to have to run too far, though. So let's get there. Oh, what a coward. We're already breaking half of them. Nice. Got him. Get them. Quick. Cavalry, quick. Go, go, go. Kill them. Uh, Spartan cavalry, I need you up there. Oh, we've just absolutely shredded them. Come on, boys. Fire away. Right, now you boys, you can turn. Ideally. And face these boys. 
I mean, face them. Get, stop them from running away would be ideal. Let's get there. Ah, uh, we can't get further than that. That's the one problem that we do have. So we might actually not destroy this whole army. Hmm. That'll be really annoying if we don't end up destroying this whole army. Kill them. Well, we need a cavalry unit over here. Fast one, ideally. Quick, quick, quick. Will you guys get here? Quick. Go, go, go. Stop them. Oh, ah, God. Missed that. That was shocking. Ah! Missed them as well. Kill them! Hoping we do kill them all, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. There's only these guys left, and they're getting shredded. Oh, and these guys. This Cryptia, the Cryptia are really not up to scratch anymore, are they? We, we should probably shouldn't use them as our flanking force. We should probably use the Skiritai. Get that. Now get in. I uh, really don't want you firing anymore, boys. So let's get that. Let's get the phalanxes moving up. Just for the aesthetic. Get out. And then you can uh, deal with them. Right. Let's see whether we've done enough to take their capital. Oh my god, General. Come on. Oh, are you joking? You just ran alongside them for 10 minutes. What imbeciles, bro. Ah, oh, Told you it was going to be salty. Ah, oh, we destroyed them, though. This guy has nobody. This guy has 135, which... Yeah, that's going to be more than 15% for that. So, oh, it's going to be close. See, this crypt here is just... The crypt here just not good enough anymore. What do we use as our flanking force? And the Skiritai aren't brilliant either. Hmm. I'm not too sure. We kind of need an elite heavy non-phalangist unit. Elite heavy unit. That would be better than what we have right now. But I don't know. I really don't know. The Skiritai. It's got to be the Skiritai, I think. I think the Skiritai are better. And once we start getting some of these armor upgrades and weapon upgrades on them, they'll, they'll be a hell of a lot better. Hell of a lot better. Because their big problem is their lack of armor. But I will see you on the campaign map, guys. Oh, I didn't even need to. I didn't need to. It was there straight away. Ah. And they brought more troops in close. I'm willing to just bait this army here for ages, though. And just let them attack me. Because it's taking their focus away from everything else. Um. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I can't believe Arreus died. He was an absolute yes. legend. Oh, yes, Alliance. I'm willing to give you that money. But please give us map information so we know what's going on. Would you consider? You give us 50 for map inf I don't want... I want... I want your map information. I'll give you, like, 100. Here we go, 100! Regretfully. What? Really? Uh, 500, bro. 500 for map information. Regretfully, You're joking me. Decline. What idiots, man. It's just map information, bro. And I'm paying you money just to show me maps, okay? Uh, I don't like the effort stood there. Another husband. He's 39. No, thank you. Jesus. Who do you think we are? Tutor for Alcamenos. Uh, Cleonimos is now a good commander. Fantastic. Need to keep remembering these guys' names. He's a whimsical man. Minus one influence, which isn't great. But he's an agogi, which is fantastic. Oligarch, he's passionate. Fantastic influence. Strict governor. Hasty. Ooh, that's not, that's not brilliant. Um, 
Minus two influence. He may never serve again. Oh, no. Counter spy. Confident. Careless. Ooh. Wife above reproach, though. Night fighter. Confident attacker. Good commander. Victor in Europe. This man has won a great victory in Europe. Fantastic. Uh, confident in defense. Untouched. And he's a king, of course. Cleonimos. 26. What a beastly man. What is this army? That looks very much like whatever you had left. It looks like absolute scraps. Get these guys on the boat. Ooh, can we get to Sparta? I'll get them off here then. And boats. Get you there. Uh, we'll get you guys out. <laughs> get you guys in. Retrain all the troops that need to be retrained. The ones that we can actually train is better than all these mercenaries. And I'm I'm not too keen on keeping a lot of these mercenaries around because they weren't that good. <laughs> the Suebi and the Adresians have broken. So the Germanians. Sparta and Adresians and Suebi and Getai. That's why. The damn Adresians. So Athens is getting the Helots and Brachia is getting uh, retraining those boys. Fantastic. Sparta got the Daimos and Phobos temple. Can we keep going on that? Oh, we can't because we're only a minor city. Well, you know, paved roads is probably the best option right now for us. We can't really build that much in Sparta anymore because we're training so much here. Uh, that's why we need to move our recruitment hub over here. And two cities next to each other that are recruitment hubs is a lot better than just one over here. Um, right, Megalopolis. Let us go. Get you guys back. Megalopolis. Let's go for... Sewers. I don't want to get the plague anywhere. That would be completely devastating to us. I'm, I'm tempted to go for the catapult range, you know, but... We need this strategy. It's 12 turns. And then we can get some decent units. Hmm. Spartan Uzonai. Healer Archers. Yeah, we need more barracks, really. Ah, it's a lot of turns. I think paved roads. It's only three turns for paved roads. So I'm willing to take that first. Over here, we've got a lot that we can get. Go for this Temple of Zeus. That'll re reduce the price of everything afterwards. Ambrachia, let us go for this, which gives us Perioikoi Phalangites, which are the people we're using right now. And the Spartan Cavalry. So that is the first sort of level of recruitment hub we can get. And then we need to get the level 3 one as well, which will be fantastic. Because these barracks are already pretty upgraded, which is brilliant. Um... So, Ambrachia has done that. Thermon, what are you getting? Yeah, another four turns until Thermon gets that as well. Oh, you guys, again, we really need you guys to get back to Sparta. Can't allow you to die out there in the wilderness, my friends. We're still doing good for troops here. Um, Agrinian Infantry. 16 melee attacks. Really good. Frightened nearby enemy infantry. Seven. Why do they frighten nearby enemy infantry? Mountain tribe that supplies troops to Macedon. The Agrianians are elite assault troops. They carry a rope folded over their shoulders and aid in mountain combat or scaling walls. What beasts. What absolute boyos. Fantastic. Armor piercing secondary weapon. So that's their... Oh, is that their miss... Is that their javelin then? Does that count as their javelin? Or does that javelin... Well, this says light infantry, so I'm assuming that's their javelin. They are actually pretty good. I mean, it's better than having two Tarantine cavalry. Oh, we can't disband while laying siege. Good lord. Well, Tarantine cavalry and the two Thessalian lancers. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure what that's going to achieve. Let's uh, see what this secondary army is all about. Oh, it's only 222 troops. Oh, it's absolutely destroyed. And what are you? Oh, my God. We've got to go for it, then. I'm sorry, guys. We've got to go for it. 
Well, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. That was a very quick decision, but I had to take it. <laughs> oh. This may be a good day to die, but it is a better one to live through. Let us have victory so we can tell our children tales of Greek courage and honor. I'm slightly confused by our deployment zone. This is the road. I can't remember where the road comes out of. I'm assuming that their army's coming from here. So we're going to set up like that is the case. Oh, my one of you has a ladder. No, thank you. I am willing to use the crypt tier on the walls, but I would prefer... We're going to send crypt tier over this way, just in case... They're coming from over there. And we'll send a bit of a cavalry contingent in the middle to try and intercept them if they are. And we'll send an actual good unit, this Agrarian Infantry. No, drop the drop the ladder. Right, archers and slingers. You are the boys that we need to man these ladders, my friends. Have the general in the middle over here. Uh, so we need to pick them up. <laughs> Oh, there's some with only two again. That's that's not great. We do want to send a couple of the units over this way to take this gateway. You, you. We'll only use four, I think, this time. You guys go there. And you guys. And then we'll use the slingers as the last one. Ah, uh, they can't go in the trees. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? Then the slingers. You can get these four. Come on. Press on it. <laughs> Good lord. I'm, that is literally pressing on it. Uh, and you can go here. Nice. I think we're good. Get there. Get there. Get there. It's over here! Come on! Why did we deploy over this way then? Just get the crypt here in. Kill that guy. Where's that cavalry? I need you over here now. And the general. The agrarians are getting destroyed by this cavalry. So we need our cavalry as quick as we can. Uh, and then you boys, unfortunately, are not of use. Uh, so let us bring you down here. We'll get you in. Where's my general? Come on, general. Oh, my cavalry's so far away. Come on, boys. I think we can destroy this army with our cavalry, so let's go. We do have Greek cavalry, which is very strong. They have very few troops. We're going to take a lot of losses. These Cryptia are poor, as we have seen recently. I just don't want them to get in the city. We can do the rest of the damage with the, our archers and slingers, really, uh, to the troops in the city. But right, getting those Zista Foroi then. Spartan cavalry. Fantastic. Keep going, boys. It's going to take a few shots, the general, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Greek cavalry's not in him in. Let's go out. And now we kill the general. Ah, he's dead anyway. Kill them. Come on, Greeks. We need you. Come on, the boys. Let's go. That should be them all dead. Right. Now out. And then we'll charge them in the back and we'll be good. Theroporite. Charge, boys! Charge! That should be a mass route. Get after them. Don't let them escape. Anyone fully up on the walls yet? You guys get around there if you can. You guys through this way. 
And you guys through there. And you guys through here. Cavalry! Where's my general? Who are you? Uh, the crypt here. I think we do the rest of it with the crypt here because they're very easy to retrain. And they don't have that much troops, really. That many troops, should I say. So, you guys get over there. Crypt here and the general should be enough, right? Get over there. Kill them. Yeah, they don't have many troops looking at it, so we should be fine. You guys come along to here, maybe? Could use the phalangites, but I'm happy with the, the way they are right now. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only oh, they're going to go through this way, so you stand there. Oh, just halt. Just halt, guys, and, and fire. Fire. Fire away, boys. Fire away. Oh, we do need you to come around here, though. Ah, well. Right, let's speed it up. Speed it up. Come on, boys. Fire. Yes, good shooting. Oh, they're getting shredded, bro. Hmm. They have some agrarians. Oh, who are you? How do you get in? General in. You can be the, the sort of bait. Get you in. Get the cryptier in as well. Uh, which way is best to go to get to the town centre? Have to go all the way around that way, do we? Oh my god! Ah, uh, these places are annoying. Well, we will. You guys, get over here. Cavalry. Let's get you here as well. They're coming out to meet us. That's a good sign. Cavalry so slow, bro. Why are you so slow? Go, cavalry, go. Right, you guys get up there. And we'll send these boys up here, ideally. Then you can trap them, and that is it. That is the end of this city, as we know it. Go, go, go. Kill them all. Just kill them. Oh, brutally killed them. Brutally destroyed them. Oh, they got all single unit left. One use Onai. The last man standing. Kill him. Fantastic. Ah, well. We still lost a few troops. Mainly Cryptia, though, which don't care about. And the agrarian infantry took a direct charge from their general, so <laughs> they were obviously going to get a bit shredded, weren't they? Uh, well, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys, where we have taken... Is it Thess... Have we taken Thessalonica? I think it's Thessalonica. <laughs> I, didn't... <laughs> I didn't even look. I just pressed on it so quickly. Um, but, yeah, I think... <laughs> oh, well. Everything is good. Everything is good now. I'll see you in a sec. Here we are, guys. Oh, it's Pella. Sorry. That was stupid. There's Thessalonica. That's their new capital. 15,000 people. Ah, do we enslave or occupy? I think we occupy. They're very happy already. It's all culture penalty, of course. Um, Western Hellenism. Ah, unfortunate. Well, let us destroy the Claruccia. 1,000 for that. Fantastic. Now let us go for this. What temples do they already have? They have a lot. They have a temple of Zeus, which is great. I like the temple of Zeus. It's a very good temple. 
Retrain these boys. <laughs> Get me some armor upgrades. They have... A, this is actually a fantastic settlement. Look at this. Really good. Already making 3,000 a turn, boys. Dionysus. Tumulus. We can't actually use that. Why can we not destroy it? Oh, it's the Great Tumulus. Why can we not destroy it? And Shrine to Artemis. Fantastic. Well, how's it gone over here? I'm still retraining. Well, I'm glad we've taken Pella, because if they want to siege down Pella, I'm very, very happy. We will absolutely destroy them in a defensive siege. I don't believe we've had... Well, we did have one defensive siege, and it was of Corinth. But we had, like, no troops in there, so... That's not really too much to worry about. Are these guys properly upgraded? Yes, they are. Yeah, silver and bronze. Fine. Fantastic. And we've taken out their homeland. I'm sure they're very happy about it. Thessalonica is a large city as well. So they've got, looking like it, four more settlements. If not, a couple up here as well. Now that is rebel still. I don't know. Right, let's end the turn, guys. Let's get on to the... Oh, hello. Why are we going all the way to Rome? Alliance Rome? No. Map for map. I just want map. And most generous okay, composed. fantastic. Now we can actually see where they are. Carthage is up in Rome's grill. Good lord. Well done, Carthage. You're doing very well. Carthage is someone we don't want to be at war with because it'd be so drawn out. Look how far away they are. We're all the way over here. Um, I'd rather just be battling Rome. They've not done much expansion. That's probably because Carthage is doing fantastically. Well done, Carthage. I want an alliance with you. We can be friends, bro. We can be friends. And the Antigonids, again, moved like fools. I don't know what they're doing. But... <laughs> Oh, we're, we're, we've not ended the turn. They didn't actually move. Ah, uh, we... Adrissian Kingdom. I mean... They didn't want to do the map information, right? Would you consider? Like, like give me 70. <sighs> Just give me map information, bro. I'll give you, like, a thousand. That's kind of the limit I'm willing to go to, really, for map information. Regretfully, what? We must declare. What are you hiding in your lands, bro? <laughs> what are you hiding? You fools. Oh, dear me. Dear, dear me. What absolute imbeciles. Imbeciles. As they would say in Greek. <laughs> I have no idea what, how they would say that in Greek. Um... <laughs> So they just did a full retreat. And they have two fat armies here as well. Wow. Interesting. Uh, well then. Let's see. Agent found in Pella. The Antigonids and Apollonia. Epirus. Stop doing what you're going to do. Okay. It's not going to end well for you. Kyrene and Seleucus have broken their alliance. And Pergamon and Kyrene are allies. See the thing is. We took if we destroyed Epirus, we're kind of over I would say we're pretty overextended at that point because all our recruitment areas are over here. It's two or three turns to go and retrain people. It's a bit far. I want to stay in this vicinity. So Yeah. Alright, Sparta, we've got to make sure we keep on uh, retrain all of you boys as well. Uh, Tarantine cavalry is is absolute garbage, I'm not gonna lie. There's a Lyrian swordsman can get we can get rid of. We can take our time though. I'm I'm happy taking my time in this mod, you know. It's definitely better than rushing. Apollonia is a bit unhappy, probably because of a spy that was found there. Let us go for something that brings happiness then. Well, the Forion does. Mm. I think we go for the baths. Make sure they don't get the plague. How are we doing over here? Still building. 
I don't want to march on Thessalonica while those two massive armies are there. I don't think we can beat those two armies in one battle. So I'm willing to wait. I'm surprised they're not sieging us down. Because I could kill both those armies in a defensive siege. Ah, we've got these guys to retrain as well. Oh well. We have plenty of troops now. We we can probably do about another one and a half stacks from all those troops in, in Sparta. Which is great. That is very good. I'm very happy with that. And of course, we need to just get that tr those troops moving, really. Get them a-moving, my friends. I'm surprised this Antigonid army has not done anything. Like, why? What is it doing? It's just doing nothing. So, Seleucids and the Sarka, okay. Armenia has ceasefired with two people, so I'm assuming they're under a bit of pressure. Where is that pressure coming from, Armenia? Because you're pretty expensive. Expanded right now. Eunice, thank you. Thank you for Eunice. Right, let us do our building. Let's go for the baths at Megalopolis. Aegeon, let's go for. Hmm. Do we have corruption here? No, just devastation, and I don't know why. Looks like the devastation's right there. I'm not actually sure why. Aegeon. Okay, Aegeon then. Could go for the Odeon. Yeah, let's get ready to make this whole place into a big recruitment hub. Corinth. Let's go for the Sewers. And Pella. Fantastic, we got that. So let's get the Furion. That should mean we can retrain these boys. And then train one to sit as a bodyguard. A guard of Pella. The Pelian Guard. The Pelican Guard. <laughs> right, let's see what army we can stick together. Nicandros, you're not as strong as some of these other boys. You're 49, though. Who could lead this army? Could Eric Thonios? Theos. 32. What traits do you have? Uh, conceited. There's nothing really negative morale yet. That's all I'm looking for. No, no negative morale. Fine, we will use you. We'll get you with the three helots. They don't have the armor upgrade or anything yet. Let's get you over here. Let's get our next helot in there. You're in. And let's go phalangist next. Oh, we could have used you. Alkamenos. Oh, well, you're actually a lot better. Well, Alkamenos it is then. Get there, my friend. And Theos. Although, yeah, Theos, you're a standard bodyguard as well. You're not a cavalry bodyguard. Balangists. Another fantastic grand army we're going to have waiting here. Uh, ooh, there's not many phalanges left, is there? Hmm. Got the mercenary ones. I don't want to fill the rest with Cryptia. Got two of you. Yeah, we have enough really here for two armies, so... So you four. So we need five more phalangists. Is there anywhere we can get phalangists right now? No. No. Ah, come on. Obviously, we need to keep training them over here. Let's do that. And then we can get you guys in for retraining. All you Cryptia out. You guys in. Ah, oh, come on. I know it's going to take a while, but... We want to make sure that our, you know, everything's right. Okay, you guys can all retrain now as well. Right, let us see what we can add to this army that's going to be beneficial. I mean, for Skiritai, let's have a look. Skiritai, yeah, Skiritai is decent. I think go for the Skiritai that we have. Let's go for the, uh, we'll go for a Mercenary Phalan just as well. Is that the only one? Yeah. 
It's unfortunate. And then we can get the four Skiritai, and that's a semi-decent army. It's just a shame that our cavalry is just so unbelievably trash. <laughs> yeah, you can actually fit back in, exactly. And then this army is going to get moving out as well. Even though it is pretty dog shit. We'll replace a couple of these shit units. Like the Illyrian Swordsman, you're never going to be useful again. Same with the Tarantine Cavalry, awful. The rest of you still have a little bit of reuse in you, especially that 15 Cavalry. I know it doesn't seem like much, but Cavalry is brutally good in this game, isn't it? So, this is a very nice army, I've got to say. So, let's get you moving towards the Antigonids. Mm, unfortunately, you can't move further than that. Hmm. Do we have any mercenary cavalry available here, my friend? No, just slingers. Oh, great. Well, you'd be good in a siege, so we'll do that. We'll end the turn one more time, and then I think I'm going to end the video there, guys. Uh, spy? Yeah, let's get you over here. See what's going on. Just see that... What about this settlement? We can see what they're doing. There's the Adrissians. I'm happy with them as an ally on my border. Very happy. Yep, the Admiral's stopped as well. That's fine. Hello, Carthage. Nice to see you. My ally, please. I just don't want Carthage to snap up all this juicy Roman territory. That would be incredibly, incredibly shit. But I, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Um, the Romans still have a lot of life in them. Definitely. And Kingdom of Kyrene's dead. Done by the Ptolemaics, I'm assuming. What are they doing? They're just moving around like crazy people. Why not siege me down, bro? Yeah, Kyrene destroyed. Massili and Averni are allies. Interesting. Pergamon and Seleucids have a ceasefire. Nicandros has a doctor. Fantastic. We need to get you to the front line then, my friend. Oh my god, look at this trash. Trash army. <laughs> Pure trash. No cavalry. Well, we need to get these guys going. Let's get them out. And we kind of need a unit from somewhere to fill the hole that was left by them. Are you guys. In fact, you. Nah. I need another family member. Well, is like one of these family members would be better in there. Like Argos. A cro a potatoes the handsome. You go back in there and the Helots can go in Argos. Any cavalry? Ooh, cavalry, but it's Tarantine cavalry. We also have phalangists available, so we're going to get rid of... Uh, we'll get rid of the Celtic mercenary swordsmen, because the phalangists are better than them. Let's go. Right, you guys... Ooh, we can go all the way. Let's go siege down Thessalonica with these guys. Then you guys can actually go for Bylazora. I think this, this guy can kind of handle a lot of armies. Oh, what is that? Ila Bisalike. That's their really good cavalry, right? Pella's unhappy. Oh, well. You guys can move quite far. You're the trash army. You're kind of the, like, the meat shield, I, I guess we could say. <laughs> Right, Sparta got paved roads this turn. Um, let's go for the Odeon. Or we could go for grain imports. I mean, we've got enough money now. Let's go for the grain imports. It's another percentage of population growth. And obviously, with all this recruitment we're doing here, we, we're not getting a huge amount of population growth. Let's go for the awesome Temple of Zeus over there. Athens got the paved roads as well. Let us get a city barracks in Athens. Oh, we could go for level three. And oh, we need the city barracks for first. 
Chalkis, large temple of Zeus. Fantastic. Let's get the ship right. And then Larissa got the paved roads as well. Knowing your, your ability to have plagues over here, I think we'll go for the sewers. <laughs> How far away are we? One more turn on that in Thermon. Fantastic. That is the level 8 one, right? Yeah. We don't have good barracks in here, though, whereas we do in Ambrakia. Oh, well. Well then, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. We have pushed back the Antigonid Horde, the Antigonid Scourge, and we are marching very nicely on with three full-stack armies now, which is fantastic. And I'm sure the Antigonids are going to be dead pretty soon. Philopolis. 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 Philippopolis. Philippopolis. There we are. Philippopolis. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the plagues in the Adresians. Don't bring that to me, bro. Um, is not well defended. And then here, yes, Antigonids will die soon. We can we can take them out pretty quickly, honestly. Um, that will be awesome. Right, you two guys join up. There we are. And sit in the port. And then our diplomat. Let's just talk to Carthage this little one time. Alliance for map information. No. no. 46 relation. That's not good. Our reputation is okay, though. Oh, well. Well, then, guys. That is going to be it for today. So, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again in the next video.